Welcome back. Two unboxings in this video, a Lenovo Chromebook from 2024, but with a pretty odd looking spec, and a new docking station from Tobin One, the sponsors of this video. More on them later. So in this box is what I'm going to call the Lenovo Chromebook 11, a basic entry-level clamshell Chromebook released in 2024, but with an Intel Celeron N4500 processor from 2021. It's got me wondering, why does this exist? I paid just over £80, that's about 103 US dollars for this on eBay UK. It was listed as new, but I'm not convinced the box hasn't been opened before, but I guess we'll see. It's been as low as £130 in the UK, but tends to retail closer to £180. And without jumping to conclusions, I think that's pretty wild. Let's get into the unboxing and take a look. So first up we've got the power plug, I've got a UK plug of course for this one, and then we should have the USB-C power brick itself. So yeah, here we go, it's just going to be a 45 watt USB-C charger with this one. Let's get into the Chromebook itself, so we'll just slide it out in the protective packaging out of this protective sleeve. Worth just showing you the paperwork that was in the box as well. It's actually pretty interesting for once because you can see the other models that this is based around. So this one's going to share a lot in common with the 100E Chromebook Gen 3 and the 300E Chromebook Gen 3, both education focused Chromebooks. I've had the 300E Gen 3 on the channel before, the 100E Gen 3 I haven't but we did show the Gen 4. So it's an 11.6 inch clamshell Chromebook in this Maca blue colour from Lenovo. Pretty interesting colour actually, pretty unique. It looks almost white in some lights here, really like faint light blue. And you can see it's got these rubberized edges, these kind of bumpers around the edge here, so it should be able to withstand the odd knock or fall. And that's why it's going to have a lot in common and be based around the same chassis and probably board, I guess, is that 300E and that 100E. So really sharing some of that ethos of being designed for the classroom and being a bit of a tougher Chromebook that's going to withstand a little bit of physical abuse, I guess. Weight-wise in the hand, it's not feeling too bad. So Lenovo State is 1.21 kg. That's about 2.67 pounds. So fairly light as you'd hope for a small Chromebook device like this. Let's just get this protective layer out of the keyboard deck and then we'll take a look at the ports and connectivity on it. Port selection looks fair for an entry-level Chromebook. So starting on the left, we've got a power charge LED indicator, a USB-C 3.2 Gen 1 port for power data and display out, a full-size USB-A 3.2 Gen 1 port, a headphone microphone combo jack, and a micro SD card slot. On the right-hand side, you've got a second full-size USB-A port, an HDMI version 1.4B port, and a Kensington Nano security slot. For wireless connectivity, it's Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.1. So again, particularly on the Bluetooth, it's pointing towards that slightly older tech inside this one. On the bottom of the Chromebook, not too unexpected, we're finding the speakers on the front edges closest to you as you use it. Not going to be ideal, much nicer if they're up on the keyboard deck, but this is a small budget device so not unexpected. It also looks like we've got the drain hole for what I hope is a spill resistant keyboard on this one. Again, if it's sharing that chassis from the 300E and the 100E, it makes sense that it's inherited that. And the fact that you've got easy access to these screws to get into the Chromebook, it looks like it's gonna be easy to open up should you ever need to for any maintenance. Opening up the Chromebook for the first time and the screen does go back 180 degrees against the keyboard deck so that's definitely nice to see. It hasn't powered on either which is normal for a brand new device, it will want some power connected first so that does help back up that what I've got here is new and unused. And wow, okay, just look at the colour on the keyboard deck. Um, I'm actually kind of finding myself liking this so you've got these darker blue keycaps and the touchpad here looks like quite a contrast, again fairly unique, probably a nice selling point for someone that's just going to like it for the colour. I'll try not to get too attached to that, but yeah, it's a personal choice I guess. So looking at key travel, you've got that kind of medium to deeper key travel on this one, and I'll just see what it feels like for just a first impression of typing. Yeah, I mean that 
doesn't feel too bad at all actually. Fairly rugged solid keyboard deck again. Lenovo normally get things pretty good here with the ABS plastic that they use and the touchpad. Let's just take a look. So it's definitely well seated. It is a fair size and um, the click mechanism. Yeah again for a budget entry-level Chromebook not too bad at all. So before I power and set up the Chromebook, now feels like a good time to unbox this new dock that Tobin One have sent me so I can set up the Chromebook with my test user and test it out with my monitors and peripherals via this USB-C dock. So Tobin One are sponsoring this video and are a great fit for the channel as if you're subscribed you'll have likely seen me test various Chromebooks I review with one of their other docks that I've been using for some time now. I found their docks to offer a quality build, a choice of connectivity, and they're truly plug and play with all the Chromebooks I've tested, as well as for my Windows laptop, but sometimes you'll need to install a driver there. If you'd like to check out Tobin One's range of docks, I'll share my affiliate links for Amazon and more in the pinned comment. I'll also include my past review videos. This particular dock acts as a stand, so quite nice to save space if that's important to you. And as always, it's offering a lot of connectivity. I think the older Celeron N4500 processor did struggle a little bit as I noticed the odd flicker to my Full HD monitors, running them here as extended displays. But using any other Chromebook, including the Lenovo 500e Gen 4 with the newer Intel M100 processor, gave extremely stable output. Thanks again to Tobin One for sponsoring this video. Having the 100 watt Tobin One charger with the dock is also a pretty nice addition on its own, as I'm just gonna cheat and get this connected up to the Chromebook to get some power on it so I can turn it on for the first time. So from everything I've shown you so far, this Chromebook probably seems pretty reasonable for what it is, an entry level budget Chromebook. But my main concern probably isn't you guys watching this video and doing your research. It's your relative or friend or someone that just looks online or in store, sees this Chromebook came out in 2024, so assumes it's pretty new and therefore it must be fairly decent. Not realizing that the guts of this Chromebook, the Intel Celeron N4500 processor, are from 2021. That also means Chrome OS updates ending in 2031, so not near the 10 years of updates for a new Chromebook platform that might be becoming the more common understanding. To finish confirming the core spec, you've got 4 gig of low power DDR4 RAM and you've got a 64 gig eMMC storage drive. There's no other model options or choices here to discuss. I guess that's one benefit of it having been designed to a budget. And as we saw earlier, they haven't even given this a marketable or clear name. Also, for whatever reason on Lenovo's usually excellent spec site, this UK variation model doesn't even return a result when you try and look it up. The 11.6 inch display is also a budget offering of course, so it's TN rather than IPS and it's HD rather than Full HD. So that's fairly normal to see on these 11.6 inch displays. For brightness, Lenovo claim it's up to 250 nits, but honestly I think it may even struggle there. For indoor use, you're going to be fine, especially if you're looking at it straight on. These bezels, yep, they're pretty chunky. Um, I can only say that if this is for kids, for small hands, maybe having something to grab hold of may help. At the top of the display, we've got the HD webcam and it does come with a privacy slider. Trying out a bit of Real Racing 3 here, and yes, it can handle light Android games without too much trouble. So am I just missing the point? If the reviews are to be believed, a lot of owners are perfectly happy with this Chromebook, and perhaps discounts in global markets make what may feel like a parts bin Chromebook a viable choice to mass markets, especially in the education sector. However, for your average individual, I think they can do better. For example, for less money right now, you can pick up something like the Acer Chromebook 311. That's got the Intel N100, a processor that's two years younger, with two years extra Chrome OS updates, and it's got an IPS display. That's much more what I'd expect to see as a minimum standard for an entry-level Chromebook from 2024 that's still valid in 2025. If you want to see more on that Acer, pick one of the videos on the left hand side of your screen now. Otherwise, if you prefer to go with the YouTube algorithms choice, that's the video on the right. Cheers.